While you might have been away from the university for the summer, or if you're about to begin your first semester at UT, the university certainly hasn't stopped moving. Here's what you missed. The biggest story over the summer came on July 2nd, when UT System Chancellor Francisco Cigarroa asked UT President Bill Powers to resign, or face being fired at the next meeting of the Board of Regents. President Powers responded in a letter stating that he would not resign, but was willing to discuss a timetable for exiting after the end of the 2015 legislative session. The resignation request by Sigaroa comes as the culmination of years of hostility and poor relations between President Powers and Chancellor Sigaroa and the Board of Regents. After the news broke, Powers received widespread support from student government, the faculty, and UT alumni. On July 9th, at an emergency faculty council meeting, it was announced that Powers would be allowed to stay on as president for the next academic year, through the 2015 legislative session. In August, a search committee will be formed to select the next president of UT. For more on the Bill Powers, Powers controversy, click here. In February, Chancellor Sigaroa announced his own resignation, and will leave his job as Chancellor at the end of the fall semester. Naval Admiral William McRaven has been named the sole finalist to succeed Sigaroa as Chancellor of the UT system. McRaven is currently Commander of the United States Special Operations Command, and is best known for overseeing the operation that resulted in the death of Osama bin Laden. McRaven will be officially appointed Chancellor at the August 20th and 21st meeting of the Board of Regents, and he will begin his tenure in January of 2015. This summer also brought new developments in the ongoing Fisher v. University of Texas court case on the legality of affirmative action. In 2013, the case had gone to the Supreme Court, but was sent back to the Fifth Circuit Court. This summer, on July 15th, the Fifth Circuit Court again upheld UT's right to consider race as a factor in its holistic review process. It's possible that this is not the last of the long-running court case, however, as Abigail Fisher has requested the full Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals to rehear her case. For more on the Fisher case as it's developed over the last several years, click here. On the football side of things, UT's new coach Charlie Strong has recently dismissed several players from the team for violating team rules, and two UT football players have been suspended indefinitely after being arrested for sexual assault. What will happen to the players and how these dismissals will affect the team remains to be seen. That's what you missed this summer. As these stories develop in the fall semester, you'll find everything you need to know in your Daily Texan and at Daily Texan Online. Line.com.